You know, I just sold my Priya Toronto and I'm looking for my next motorcycle. You know, this is the only motorcycle I have, which is my most fun motorcycle. It's this 2019 YZ450 FX that I converted into a street legal supermoto. Absolutely amazing, untamed power, just a beast. It commands respect every time I get on this bike. But you know what, guys? My next bike, which is going to be possibly my dream motorcycle, but I'm going to tell you what my dream motorcycle is. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Continue to leave video suggestions, but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. You know, first off, guys, for those of you guys who want to get my gear, like these awesome gauntlet gloves here, uh, my heated gloves, which are awesome as well, this uh, airbag vest to help keep me safe out there, Dionysia winter jacket, camo pants, this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that I absolutely adore. I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos. Today I'm out here in the hood. Yeah, but yeah, love that brap brap brap. Ah, we in the urban environment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Time to do some hooligan riding out here. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you all about that dream motorcycle that I have. I'll tell you guys, I've told you guys many times that I'm not, by the way, I'm not an anti super bike or super sport. Some of you guys misunderstood me when I told you guys that uh, I probably won't get another super bike or super sport for the street. But that's not because I don't like them, I love them, but I can't have the proper fun on them, guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like this bike, I can have some proper fun, baby. <laughs> yeah, get some off-road action up in here. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Woo! <laughs> That's why you get a supermoto, baby. You gotta have some proper fun out here. Get that brat brat brat. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, it's still working. Woo! That torque, baby. I'm telling you, that's why you get this bike. Torque. Low speed fun, but the torque, it's what gets your soul moving, man. And this thing is so wild. But my dream motorcycle for the street is something that's got a lot of torque. That's what I want. Here are a few bikes I'm looking at and let me know your thoughts in the comments. But I'd have to say my dream bike would be a Ducati Panigale 1299. It has loads of torque, 104 pounds feet of torque. It's a gorgeous bike, one of the lightest liter bikes at 370 pounds dry. They say it feels like a 600, nice and narrow beautiful in the twisties uh i said i wouldn't buy a super bike for the streets guys but if i do it would definitely be this bike because i love ducati's l twin engine it has so much character and torque and beautiful power uh my next bike would be the 2020 ktm 1290 super duke r again another liter bike but this bike have loads of torque and 100 plus pounds feet of torque and they made it 16 pounds lighter also, I'm thinking about uh, Zero SRF, even though it's really expensive, but 140 pounds feet of torque, and you can get the biggest battery on there that will give you a 200 mile range, or possibly the Zero FXS Supermoto or the Dual Sport, like I mentioned in a previous video, and I'd be using that specifically for the bug out moto van trips because it's clean. I wouldn't have to cover it up. No motorcycle stank in the van. Something that's fairly lightweight. And it has, I mean, I don't have to have the feather lightweight, you know, but I want a lot of torque, you know. Power to weight ratio in terms of torque, that's what I want, man. Low power to weight, high power, low weight, tons of torque. So what do I get for that, guys? Some of you guys are like, Psycho Cruiser, you had your pretty Tuono, man. That thing was amazing. 
But I'll tell you guys. Woo! <laughs> the talk. That's what you need. That a prayer didn't have the talk. The torque that I love. But it, it had it, you know, but it was like uh it was too controlled. And it was uh, you know, all the power in that is in the meat in the mid-range and, and upper RPMs. I want all my power at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? That's why I love the uh du Ducati XD Avell. Because it had all kinds of bottom end power. Oh baby! Oh my! Oh f <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! I'm actually even thinking about getting another one, but I don't know man. I, I just it's like I've already been there and done that. Uh, the Ducati uh, Diavel 1260 I know would be something new, but it's pretty much the same bike that has the better components on there. It's got the uh, it's chain drive, mid pegs, but it's tuned a bit differently. It doesn't have some of the more you know bottom end power like the XD Avell has. It has bottom end power, but the XD Avell is tuned for more more power down low. And uh, so getting the Diavel 1260, I don't know, man. But it's like I've already been there and done that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's why I thought about trying out the electric bikes. Because I know some of you guys out there scoff at that idea. But I hear electric bikes have a ton of torque. The main problem I have with getting electric bike is it takes too long to charge them, man. And uh, some of the bikes don't even have the level 2 charger where you can go to you know, any old place uh, that the electric cars go to and charge up you know, pretty quickly. And it's not quickly. The quickest you can charge those bikes up is like two hours. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a little bit less than two hours. That's too much. I'll be riding out here. End up here in a bad section of the hood, man. <laughs> the battery dies. I'm stuck like Chuck, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, I had to call AAA and AAA may show up or may not out here in the hood uh, this ain't the real I'm not don't get me wrong guys I'm just joking this isn't really the real real hood man uh, but compared to where I live this is the hood <laughs> but I grew up in this area uh, in west side of Cleveland I love Cleveland man that's how y'all you know, this is this is, you never forget where you came from, man. That's why I always come back here. Brings a lot of memories. But yeah, I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want to be stranded on my electric bike. You know what I'm saying? In the hood, <laughs> or anywhere for that matter. I don't want to be stranded, man. I don't want to have to get that AAA tow. I don't want to have to count miles and keep looking at the battery power. I'm like, oh, am I gonna make it back home? Am I gonna make? Yo, know, I don't want to have to deal with that. You know. Um, but if I do get an electric bike, I'll probably just be cruising around in a you know, city, in my city or in another city around it. Uh, but I don't know. They cost too much money, man. They cost, they're freaking, uh, man, even for the cheaper, like for an FX, uh, Zero FXS Supermoto. You know, with, with, by the time you add the, the proper add-ons on that bike with the 7.2 volt battery, the sucker probably sitting at about twelve thirteen thousand dollars that's crazy you know what i'm saying i just sold my my prior tuano for that much <laughs> which is better <laughs> the uh zero uh fxs or my 2017 prior tuano v4 1100 factory the prior tuano all day <laughs> you know what i'm saying and then the, the sr the zero srf which I hear is a really cool bike and it's got a lot more range, like up to 200 plus, uh, you know, miles of range on the battery. Uh, but if you get hard on that throttle, obviously it's going to reduce that amount. And, uh, but they want like $20,000 plus, and then you add the extras on, it's probably like 20 something thousand dollars. Get out of here. Ain't nobody paying no, I mean, there are people out there that are paying 20 something thousand dollars for them zero bikes, but that's because they got money to blow. I don't have money to just go out there and just waste, man. You know what I'm saying? So, honestly, guys, 
honestly i really don't have an ideal bike picked out i had thought about getting it the ktm the new 2020 ktm 1290 super duke r which i know i said i probably wouldn't mess with super bikes you know but the the main attraction uh for me for that bike is it has a ton of torque what i preach about the torque that's what i want to experience but i need to test ride the bike and see how proper that bike is you know what i'm saying yeah, let's go ahead in the hood. We out here in the hood, baby. Out here in the hood. <laughs> Urban settings out here. Yeah. It's a good looking hood, isn't it? <laughs> this ain't no hood. I know you like cycle cruising, man. This ain't no hood, man. I'll take you to my hood. Then you see what a hood is like. No, I'll, I'll take you to my hood on the east side out here in cleveland and i'll show you the real hood <laughs> but i'll take my book out motor van i'm gonna take my motorcycle i'll probably get jacked off my bike <laughs> no i'm just joking man i know a lot of cool people live over in the hood on the east side so i'm just joking man just joking just jokes i got jokes man i got love for everybody I may be back in the hood one day myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I gotta stay humble out here because life can humble you, boy. You gotta stay humble no matter what. But anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Book Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Book Out Moto.